The next match at Conflict Arising will be the first tag team title match of the season at Croganza. We saw the, the formation of Just Jason and Rico Suave, two former rivals. If you paid attention to season one, these two were going at one another earlier in the season for the world championship. And they found a common enemy in the Giovanni family. They found a common goal. They respected each other enough to form a tag team to go into that triple tag team match against, you know, the likes of G and Big Brad and then the tag team champions of 2Q and DJ Marvy Marvin, that triple TL team TLC match, and they became the tag team championships. They were the tag team champions. They are being challenged by Sean Excite and Keith Cross. And this kind of goes back to the last show at Resurrection. Just Jason had an open challenge, which was answered by Sean Excite. And he beat him. Sean Excite didn't take that loss lying down and demanded he challenge the two for the tag team titles. And he handpicked from the Giovanni family, Keith Cross. This unlikely formation of these two. Could they be the ones? Could the first the, you know, championship defense of these two, Rico Suave and Just Jason, here tonight at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, be the, the loss of the championship? Could they, on their first defense, lose them? He's not in a good mood right now. He suffered a loss against his former tag team partner, A-List, at Kroganenza. Two former friends and tag team partners turned enemies. And then he lost in that open challenge to Just Jason. He was trying to get back that win, and Jason beat him. And his partner, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 264 pounds, Keith Cruz. Keith Cross of the Giovanni family. This is some weird, unlikely formation. Sean Excite working with a member of the Giovanni family despite not being a member in the family himself just for the sheer fact that he wants to take those titles off of Jason and Rico to humiliate them to get a comeback to start his season two triumph, as he puts it. I don't know. I don't really see the like why he would do that when the Giovanni family is pretty much trying to take over this company, despite you know, also you know taking over you know taking him out as well. But he must have a plan here, and this is the first time in season two we're seeing Keith Cross. Last time we saw him was the eight-man Chaos Championship ladder match at Kroganza. And here comes. Rico Suave. And introducing the champions, first, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 257 pounds, he is the Richard, the bad guy. Rico Suave is a three-time CKW World Champion. He is a one-time CKW Tag Team Champion, one of the top wrestlers in this business in this company and tonight he is going out to defend those tag team titles they're entering separately despite entering together at Kroganza. I don't know if that's a mind game or what
But just Jason on his way out to the ring in the minute. This tag team match will be an elimination tag team match. The first team to eliminate both people on the other team. Just Jason, a former one-time CKW World Champion, one-time CKW Tag Team Champion. His season one was quite big too. Some big and his time partner, matches. Representing the Brothers of Destruction from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 215 pounds. He is the Jushin, Jason. Jason. Carrying that belt to the ring. And there's Sean X I watching from ringside. And he's going. Wait, what in the world is Sean Exite doing? Sean Exite. Attacks him. Oh, jeez. The referee says we're going to ring the bell. He's kicking just Jason while he's down. He's got the championship. He was trying to grab that championship. But just Jason's not going to get this lying down. He's going to go right after Sean Exite. Drops him face first. <clears throat> oh! Drops him with that Samoan drop. And he's telling him to get up. The fans here. Going crazy in Philadelphia. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord! Second Samoan drop. The belt's just staying in the ring. He's going right after Rico Suave. Punch! I think he was about to tag Keith there, but he decided not to. Misses that drop kick, and Rich takes him down. Drops him on the elbow. Going for these punches, but misses. Rico Suave goes. And he throws him into the turnbuckle. No! Keith, I mean, I mean, Sean reverses it. Tags in Keith. And they throw him into the ropes. The belt's just staying there. And they drop him with that double. And we got just Jason. We got Keith Cross. Oh, and a drop kick sends Keith to the mat. And he drops him with a kick. Once again, trying to go after the leg there, take away his mobility. And Keith was able to break out of that for a clothesline. He's telling him to get up. Oh, when he gets caught with that move, will that be enough to take out Keith? One. No, Keith kicks out at a, almost a two count. And a big boot-ish maneuver. And he's trying to go for his own pin. The He misses the kick, gets caught with that cutter like maneuver.
In, co in comes Rico Suave. Rico Suave gets caught with a punch from Keith. The referee just leaving that championship in the ring. Oh! And Rico Suave catches him with a punch and another kick or some knees to the gut. Some smashed talking right there. They're keeping themselves up with the tag team. You know, taking back and forth. These two first time teaming since winning the titles. And Keith catches out of it and gets thrown over the ropes and gets caught by Sean Excite into a freaking backbreaker. Wow, the fans here are booing this team of Sean and Keith. And he's just mocking him at this point. He's telling Jason to get inside this ring. Oh. Showboating puts him into a headlock. Takeover. Oh, Lord. What the heck? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, he's trying. He's trying. He's trying. Oh, Lord. He's trying to tear his head off with that move. He's trying to get out of it. Keith is trying. Oh, Keith just barely catches out of the club to the back. Gets thrown into the ref. Clothesline. Keith. Signaling. Four. Oh, an elbow to the face. Cheap shots and across the face. I see a little bit of blood there. And the fans here in the Wells Fargo Center going crazy. Oh, drops him head back of the head on that championship. I don't think the, the referee even knows that. The referee didn't even bother. No one's bothered. And another one on top of the belt. The referee hasn't even bothered to take the title out of the ring. He's getting up. But Rico Swami tells him to get back down and tombstones him. Holy crap. I don't think I don't think Keith knows where he's at anymore. They dropped him. And they go 3D on the belt. 3D on the title. One, two, three. Holy crap. Look at Sean's face. Sean literally trusted Keith with being his tag team partner and Keith got destroyed. Holy Jesus Christ, a death drop <coughs> on that, oh, on that belt that that so happened to be in the ring because Sean decides to attack Jason. Sean at a disadvantage here right now. Sean throws him out of the ring. Sean's going into the ropes and jumps drop kick out sliding out of the ring. Keith is just half dead when Jason reverses. Throws Jason into the turnbuckle, catches him. Oh. And he's mocking him at this point. I wouldn't be mocking him if I were you. You're down one person. Oh, he doesn't... Ex no, he didn't plan on Rico Suave! Hey! Gets him with the claw! Gets him with the iron claw! Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's trying. He's trying to break his head. And Jason... I mean, and Sean... Kicks out of it. But J he didn't see that one coming. Oh, Lord, Jason. I mean, Sean drops with that power bomb. Back of the head just blasts him with it. I don't think Sean knows where he's at anymore. Oh, Lord. Oh, he missed. He's telling the guy, oh, Lord, all oh, the punch and the kick. 
The fans here are going crazy for the team of Rigo Suave and Gus Jason. Drops him with that neck breaker. He runs into the ropes and he's dancing. Leg drop. Drops him on a DDT. He caught him off guard with that RKO with the cutter. One, two, no. Look at Sean's face. He has to fight two men on one. He's telling him to bring it on. He's mocking these people here in Philadelphia. Throws them. Boom. Drops him one more time. Close. Oh, he missed it. Oh, no. I don't think Sean seen that one coming. Oh, Lord. He just punched him upside the head. I don't know if Sean has what it takes anymore to win this match. Rico Swami, this team, they are such a dominant tag team. Together, two former world champions here in CKW. Big boot. The fans here going crazy on their feet for that move. One, two, three. And Rico Suave and Just Jason retain their tag team titles. With that championship just staying in the ring. Here are your winners and still the W. Okay, the, the announcer just stopped there. And the winners, Rico Suave, Just Jason, still your CKW Tag Team Champions. The team of Sean Exite and Keith Cross cannot get it done. And I don't think Sean Exite's going to be very happy after this.